Hello, Craig Adams here from uh, California Lightworks. This week we are in rainy Porterville, California with Jose Acosta and Sunburst Nurseries. They're growing dragon fruit, which they sell to Home Depot. Home Depot's only. So this is type of a succulent plant where you're, you're taking cuttings, you get the plant to root, you get it to a certain size, ship it off to Home Depot. Perfect. And, in carts like this? Yes, exactly, right. So if I understand right, in the summertime, you're mostly growing outdoors. Outdoors. Uh, but you still use indoor a little bit for? Just when we get the new succulents, the new planting, when we, for the process of rooting it, we do it inside, that way it's not the environment. They're not climate yet, so yes. we have to put them inside rooms. And so that's where we've been using exactly. California Lightworks uh, exactly. Mega Drive lighting. So, and then the winter time, you're using that even more? We use it a little, a little bit more because the environmental, you know, it's too cold, too hot. They like, their tropical plants, so not too hot, not too cold. Yeah, so how long does that process take from the time you do the cutting till the time you can sell them? It's, it, it all depends on the climate. If it's too, it's, if it's warm enough for them, it goes about 95, 85, 95 degrees, and then they root faster, yeah. and they start growing faster. Ah, okay. Natural light is always the best, but on these lights, we notice that we root it faster, so it takes about two, three weeks or less to root it. As soon as they root it, we pull them outside, and then... They'll grow for a, they grow, a certain amount of time. They, grow, yeah. they take off. Yeah. Nice, so both for the the control of the light and the temperature and humidity so it speeds up your whole process exactly. so i know in the past you had some problem with lights if the humidity was too high it was affecting the lights it so here lights. it's been pretty solid even higher humidity even direct spray very very impressed with these lights great well uh let's go check it out let's go so this facility here was originally for processing oranges, well, right? Just cooling down oranges or, or keep it cold. Yeah, so you have large facilities for storing and processing oranges, Correct. tangerines. So how long ago did you take over this place? Uh, a, little bit over, a little bit over a year and a half, two, almost two. For this pro project for of dragon fruit, right? Dragon fruit, yes. So, so walk me through the process. Uh, from beginning to end with this plant, what are you doing? Well, actually what we do, we get the plants and boxes and um, which they call cuttings. Um, this, they call these sections, as you see right here, they're different sections. We get the sections or cuttings and we plant it in the pot. We water it, we put nutrients on it, we put them in the room, put the lights on and uh, it starts the process as soon as they get water humidity with heat, we got yep. heaters, and lighting, that's all it takes. As soon as they root it, they're good to go. Then you, you can sell them right away or you put them no, outside we, for a we while? No, we have to, it's a, it's, a, it's a process and we have to give it to Home Depot, root it. Yeah, it's, it's, but as soon as they're rooted, as soon they, as they can root take it, them. They can take them. Yeah. So having the lights and humidity, temperature control is it, everything, it, right? It grows faster. Yeah. I mean, they get rooted faster and they start growing faster. Here we have the, Mega Drive Linear 400. So the, the interesting thing about this system here, there's no electrical power drops at all in, inside the building. Uh, these are perfect for high humidity, even dripping onto the fixtures without any problem. We put all the power supplies outside of the building so they're not in this humid environment. Uh, it's running off uh, wireless Bluetooth controls, both for the, for the timer and setting the intensity levels. You have the red on one channel, the white on the other channel. You can dim these from zero to 100% uh, manually or set them up on a timer. We can even simulate sunrise, sunset. We can have different levels of intensity depending on how much the plants need. A simple phone app, uh, very simplified automated operation. What what voltage are you running here? Is this 480? It's, it's three phase 480. Three, yes. three phase 480. So this is one of the few light systems we can take advantage of the three phase so we get more lights on the same breaker that, rather than a single phase traditional lighting. You want to show us how humid it gets here when you turn on sure. the water? Uh, we'll be shortly with that. We, you will see the rainforest <laughs> right here. One of the big problems in this operation is 
extremely high humidity when they water. I believe they're watering maybe just once or twice a week, but you really do get an extremely high humidity, a lot of dripping everywhere, and that's where the water resistance of the Mega Drive fixtures really plays a big part. So Jose, how, how often do you water? Once a week. Yeah. That all depends on humidity. Right. We're trying to keep as, uh, as high as we can. We got monitors right here that, that, that we can daily man monitor. So that so the higher the humidity, the better the, the, the rooting better process. The better for the plant. Yeah. As, say, as we say, in they're tropical plants. So right. They gotta be high humidity. And um, they don't take that much water, to be honest. I mean, this, I can turn it up for a half hour. As you see, they simulate the rainforest. And, and you're uh, able to maintain humidity all during the week? All during the week, yep. Yeah, we, we got a uh, uh, temperature tester and uh, moisture tens testers and uh, humidity testers, so. Oh, well, this is very interesting. Uh, first time we've been involved with this type of plant, this type of operation, but we think that the Mega Drive system goes where, very well with this since we don't have to do wiring inside the room. It's very resistant to humidity and uh, high water level. Yep. You also have the a high level of control, Controlling. Uh, which is built into the system. You don't need even a separate controller, just a Bluetooth app. So simplifies things for the grower. Exactly. And uh, now nah, great to see it in operation. Nice. Now I want some dragon fruit, huh? Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard that that red helps uh, roots pop out faster, but until you see it, you know, you don't know what's true. And then this is a very example. I mean, you notice you can walk around the section that I have the red, they're growing faster and getting thicker yeah. than the ones that I don't have lights on. Green. Yeah, sure. I mean, they're getting just a little bit, the ones that they, they're right. getting a little bit of light, but if you go deeper that way, they don't get a lot. So the beauty of Mega Drive is you can mount the power supply outside of the grow room, so a safer environment for the electronics. Uh, also taking the heat out of the room, easy to service anything should it be necessary. Uh, Bluetooth controls. This one, Mega Drive is running all the lights in that room, so it really simplifies the whole infrastructure. So originally this place was uh, doing packing for just for oranges, tangerines Process for a long time. Yes, and then Jim, the owner, decided to try something new. So he's the one who had this idea of trying maybe with dragon food, which yes. was a totally new crop for everybody. Totally new. So you've had to kind of learn the best uh, situation. So it's a combination of growing outdoors, but growing indoors with the lights to control the humidity, getting the fastest rooting possible, shipping directly to Home Depots, Home Depots. all over the Western US in custom trailers and it's turned out to be a nice business, huh? Oh yeah, I yeah. like it. You like, you like the challenge and we go through and... Sure. Well, we well, I know we tried different experiments exactly. here with different lights and I'm glad we finally... It's we a learning finally, process for all of us. And finally found something that seems to work. You're, you're teaching us now well, what I, different light spectrum can do, yeah, so it's all interesting. Got the luxury my boss allowed me to do. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, well thank you very much. Thank you guys. I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys.